was asked to tutor the creative writing group down at the Beechwood Community Centre, it's called Paisley Pens, and they had been looking for somebody to basically take the classes and uh, just ex explain and develop different kinds of writing. Every Monday night we tackle different things, we tackle like character, dialogue, poetry, haiku, if there's uh, a time of the year coming up like say Halloween or uh, Valentine's Day we'll maybe do something around it but I'll try and go from a different angle with it. I'd always enjoyed the idea of it, loved reading, loved wordplay, loved word puzzles, loved song lyrics but never really saw a career path, I hadn't been to college, hadn't been to uni so it's, it's quite a time consuming pursuit when you've got work to do, a job to do or a family to bring up it kind of goes in the back burner but I'd written a couple of poems and uh, going to gigs, there was a couple of fundraisers, a couple of charity nights. I just brass necked it and asked friends and bands, is it cool if I do a wee intro? Um, stuff that was on theme, that was on topic, and they were cool, and they went doing very, very well. I was about, uh, I think it was just like leaving age of 19, 20 years old. Um, Moved back up to Paisley to do a college course in radio. I got involved in script writing for radio. And my first experience knowing that I was going to write was probably when I won a writing competition. I'm um, writing a story about how I couldn't write. <laughs> so that, that, was, that was quite funny. But it was quite nice. The judges that were involved were pretty well-known writers. Um, managed to win a computer out of it. So that was pretty good. Um, after that, I kind of just looked back on on basically what I'd done so far in my life. What slam events entail? Yeah, um, to use a kind of music analogy, that they're like a battle of the bands, basically. Um, poets will come up and have to bring a couple of hit singles with them, a couple of pieces that are two or three minutes and show the judges what you've got. Ideally, you would try and show different styles or different skills in these two or three pieces, something memorable. The judges will score each piece on content, it's kind of literary worth, and the delivery, your style, um, charisma, and also on audience reaction. Like opening presents. <laughs> It's, it's just a whole series of nice discoveries uh, about other people, about yourself, um, about possibilities. The only spoken word performer that I knew about was, was John Cooper Clark, um, who I admired. Uh, he broke the mould, he opened up for punk bands in the 70s with poems and people spat at him and threw things at him and everything. Then when I heard other guys in the local scene, guys in Glasgow, guys in Edinburgh, I realised that John Cooper Clark wasn't necessarily technically better than a lot of these guys. But he broke the mould. He, like Elvis or Kurt Cobain or John Lydon, he, he broke the mould, so he's, he's down in history for that. There is a wee bit of a story, and a lot of people laugh at this. Um, everybody that knows me knows I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. And at night, when I was like six, seven, mom, I'd say to my mum, you know, read me a story, tell me a story. And she would be like, no, do you know what? You go to sleep, right? So I'd lie there in the dark, and I'd start mentally writing Doctor Who episodes in my head till I fell asleep. Myself and Craig Birrell had been talking for years, complaining, oh, there's nothing in Paisley for writers, there's nothing for poets. Um, we had, obviously, he was doing the writer's group at the time. Craig was in Sapri, it was quite a bit, so he got to know the two guys, Craig and Gary that run it. So he spoke to them and asked if it would be possible for us to have our open mic nights in Saparito's coffee shop. And they said, uh -huh, and they brought us through to the back um, part of the coffee shop where we're sitting right now. And uh, we started and we put it out on Facebook, we told all our friends to come along 
and that was September 2014 and we're still going. It's quite um it's it's quite a bigger difference I, I guess um from writing music and writing um literature whether it's poetry or short stories or novels etc um they, they differ mainly with the lyrical content obviously um the lyrical content and music has to complement the music somehow um they both have to bounce off each other and you do have to get into a more you know you have to stick to some sort of some sort of meter some sort of plan i think you're always learning um, especially if you're a musician or an artist in any sense, you're always learning and growing. I think it. Bec I think the minute you think you're not progressing, or you don't, or, or especially if you think you don't need to progress, um, I think then you know life would become very dull if you weren't constantly progressing. But yeah, I definitely think, and I'm always up for learning. Um, I'm always up for learning new things as well. Um, it's it's sort of like part of the adventure. Mm -hmm.